Hey there. Don't be alarmed. Yes, you're bound at the hands and feet, tied to my bed. But it's okay. I said there isn't any problem. And that isn't much of a problem, because I'm the one who did it. And you can trust me. I'll keep you safe and secure. And I'll restrain myself too. Not with handcuffs and ropes, mind you. But I'm not going to do anything inappropriate to you. Anything more inappropriate than tying to my bed, anyway. But that's completely appropriate. Because I'm your girlfriend. And you should be completely comfortable. I made the restraints on the loser's side so that they shouldn't be too much of a pain. Don't get any ideas, though. The door is locked. And you know I'm a lot stronger than I look. After all, I love you. I'd do anything for you. I'd break any law for you. Why, I'm breaking a few right now. For you. Thanks for being so cooperative, by the way. By being so silent, I'm sure it's not out of fear. But out of respect. There's no way you'd fear me. You have nothing to fear from me. I just want to love and protect and care for you. So there's no way you'd be scared of little old me. I'd never do anything to harm you. You know that, right? So thank you. Thank you for respecting me. I respect you too, of course. You know, your silence means so much more to me, because it just makes this whole situation so much easier to handle. I know it looks like I'm completely in control and dominant and everything right now, but I'm actually a really vulnerable person, you know? If you yelled at me, I would die. If you told me you hated me, I would die. If you even looked at me with disgust, I would die. There's a million ways you could kill me. But you're just being so calm and nice and respectful. That's why I love you. You're just letting me have this. You're just letting me bask in these feelings of having you all to myself. Having you all tied up in my bed, like a present for me. I'm a person for you too, my love. I'm all yours. Even if I'm not the one tied up to the bed. <laughs> I really needed this. My mental health really needed this. So thank you again. I know, you're mine. Everything in the universe tells me you're mine. It's written in the stars. It's written in tea leaves. I'm sure even the birds sing exclusively about how you're mine. But I just get so anxious, you know? There's this little whisper in the back of my head, and I always try to shut it up. Again and again, I try to shut it up. With music. With hobbies. With work. I try a thousand things again and again. But that whisper is still there in the back of my head, saying things like, What if he isn't actually yours? What if he runs away? What if someone takes him away from you? And I just can't handle that. I can't even begin to entertain the hypothetical thought. I can't handle that nightmare. That stress. You're mine. You're mine. But, that aside, I still need to feel like you're mine, you know? Even if I already know it, I need that satisfaction. I need that security. And that's why I had to tie you up to my bed like this. Not because you'd run away if I didn't. I'm sure you love me too. I'm sure you'd showered me with hugs and kisses. 
If only you knew how desperate I was for them from you. Maybe you're shy. Maybe you think it's inappropriate at this point in our relationship. Maybe you don't want it to be overbearing. But I do need that security. I need those assurances. The warmth of having every last doubt of mine washed away. Even that perpetual whisper in the back of my head. And tying you up like this? Well, that's a start. <laughs> Just look at you. You're amazing. I'm even ashamed to breathe the same air as you. You're so sweet and pure, and I just feel so dirty. But I'm not going to let you go. I feel rather guilty, but I'm not going to let you go. You're worth so much more than me, but I'll never let you go. That whole, oh, if you love somebody, you'll let them go thing? That's complete nonsense. Whoever first said that is the biggest idiot on the planet. And they certainly didn't meet anyone as precious as you. You're so precious. I just want to take care of you. I want to be at your beck and call. If you're sick, I want to care for you. If you're hungry, I want to feed you. If you're angry, I want to calm you. If you're sad, I want to comfort you. I want to take care of all your wants and needs. And like I said, I'm sure you must have been wanting to give me so much physical affection, right? I want to do the same to you. And you've been so good to me. You've been laying down quietly, letting me speak, and letting me have this moment. Maybe I could give you what you want. Maybe I could reward you. Well, it would be a reward for the both of us. But that's just why we're such a perfect match. For instance, maybe I could cuddle up next to you, for starters. Would you be comfortable with that? I'll take your silence as a yes. Well then, in that case, let me just cuddle up next to you like this. Mm, and how's that? <laughs> It must feel pretty good, right? It has to. It goes without saying that it's exhilarating for the two of us to cuddle. I'm personally having the time of my life. I'm actually the romantic type, but I'm sure you already got the idea once you saw how obsessed I am with you. And being the romantic type, I wanted to wait a bit longer before doing this kind of thing. You know, I thought maybe we should have held hands a few more times or gone on a few more dates before I tied you up to my bed like this and cuddled you. But I couldn't wait for that. I'm much too desperate for you to wait for that. I hope you'll forgive my impatience. It just feels way too damn good to wait any longer to hold you like this. I'm sure you feel it too, right? Your heart racing with excitement, beating louder and louder with every passing second, overjoyed to share this moment with me. I'm sure you must be pleasantly shocked at how wide your smile can be when you're being held by me like this. I'm sure you never knew it could open that wide. Look at me. I'm the same way. I feel so guilty being this happy. I feel so guilty having you all to myself, in my arms. But I'm not going to let anything ruin this moment. No amount of guilt is going to stop me from having you. The one thing I surely need. Nothing is going to take you away from me. Not war, not famine, not disease. The outside world might as well not even exist. Right now, right here, it's just you and me. My love, just you in my arms, and me cuddling you. Would you like to take this cuddling a step further? It's still going to be innocent, I promise. I swear on anything that is holy. 
which is really you, to be honest, that I'm going to keep this innocent. I just thought maybe I could caress your hair a little bit. I mean, just look at it. It's practically begging to be tenderly caressed. I think that would be enjoyable for both of us. I'll be gentle, I promise. Just nod your head for me and... Okay? Okay, just like that. Okay then, sweetheart. I'll gladly caress your hair, just like this. Hmm? Kiss your forehead. Mm. Your hair is so soft. It's so therapeutic for me to caress your hair like this. It's weird, isn't it? Normally you think that the person getting their hair caressed would be the one who is being comforted. But I feel like I'm the one who is being comforted here. I feel like I'm being healed of all the stress and anxiety. When I get to caress your hair like this, it's just perfect. This is the sort of proof I need to feel comfortable that you're mine. Hey, thanks again for letting me have this. For being so relaxed about the whole woke up tight in bed thing. You even let me play with your hair like this. See? Your hair is mine too. But thank you so much for accepting me. That's the best medicine you can give me. And that's what I really love the most all about you. Is that you accept me. I love you. Oh, but I barely told you I love you ever since you woke up. We can't be having any of that. My precious sweetheart deserves to hear that at least once every 200 words spoken. So I guess I'll have to make up for the last time. I love you. I love you. I love you. I hope.